how to ascend to the fifth dimension. Now, you may hear that word ascend and you will attach it to maybe an ascended master, all those who came before who did ascend to becoming great beings. And that's the problem. Because we think that it's only those people who were supposed to do that. Why do we think that? Because we've been programmed to believe in our littleness. We've been programmed to believe that we were not enough. And even though all of these great ascended masters said the same thing, that we could do everything that they could do, but we keep assigning all of that information to other people. We do that in our lives as well. A while ago, about seven years ago, I started talking about the changes that were happening in our world and I started shifting my, my life because I knew that people would want some better understanding of what was occurring in the world, which is also why I did my workshop the other day that I called it the workshop that will change your life, discover your soul mission. See, because everyone has a soul mission, meaning that you came into the world to evolve, to expand, to offer something of value. And when you find that place within your authentic self, then you thrive. And then you also contribute to what's going on in the world. See, because there was something else that came about a while ago, because we evolve in our consciousness over time, all of us, every individual. There's no individual that does it any differently. It's all in our consciousness. And so when you think about ascend, it means move to a higher state, a higher state of consciousness, a higher state of awareness. And that can only happen through us. The difficulty is we came in with programming that told us we couldn't do that. And that's what we have to move through. So the way that you ascend to that fifth dimension is by deciding to let go of all of your limitations, all of your biases, all of your prejudices, all of your judgments, and then see more truth. Because the truth is every individual, every being that is born, every soul that comes into the, into the world has something of value. But over time, we've forgotten that. We've also forgotten a bit of our humanity over centuries and centuries of existence in the world, which is why our world looks the way it does now. And I said we were moving through a restructuring, meaning we were going to correct what's been going on for the longest time. But the only way we can do that is by owning who we are, loving who we have become and deciding to find that unique person that we're meant to become because it's attached to our DNA. Now, I will say this. It's a bit challenging right now because what's going to come up is all of the old, limited, lower vibrational ideas that exist within you and exist in what Carl Jung called the collective unconscious. And that is we've been brainwashed to not believe in who we are. We've been brainwashed to believe something that isn't true about us or our world. And so we have to go within and figure out, well, what is my path here? Where am I supposed to go? Now, I spent 40 years on this path discovering all of this. And when I sat and told people that I had done this, it kind of didn't make sense. And I even said that I had written an ascension guide because that's what we're all doing, every single individual. And you know when you've reached that place because you start to feel happy. You start to own who you are. You start to become abundant and you heal. You can heal the physical things when you understand the mind-body connection because that is, again, connecting to your authentic self. And then we will come in and we will do things in different ways. Sometimes people don't understand it. And at this time in our world, you can't expect anyone to understand you. You're going to have to understand who you are. You're going to have to come to know your particular truth and own that because we're moving through a big change in the world. That's why it's so chaotic, which is why I shifted. But I want to read one message that came through because this is the thing that was challenging for me to accept as well. Because we all have something within us that starts to develop, but we've got to decide we're going to believe it, that we're going to embrace it, and it takes time. I'm going to read you this message because it came through on this date in 2013. Now, when I wrote it, when I received it, because I received cosmic information, this is how I've healed, transformed everything in my life. It takes me a while as also to embrace it, to move into it, and to even understand it. Nothing occurs in your life unless through your consciousness and your willingness to accept new information. And that is the same that is occurring in our world now. But let me read you this one. The biggest irony that you discover during your physical life experience is that the key to the expansion you seek is being you. 
And the fear that you hold is being you. Your awareness of this irony also provides you with the opportunity to resolve it. You will notice that whenever you hesitate to do something that you know you desire to do and that will further your expansion, you decide to wait. That very waiting period is when you have allowed your life to be controlled by that fear. Now you will understand that the fear is there not because of who you are, but what you think others will think of who you are. When you study this entire concept, you will find it difficult to see any exceptions to this. Now, I knew that when that came through, that made kind of logical sense to me, but I couldn't fully live it because we have to come to this place of moving through our individual limitations and barriers that have told us that who we are is not enough. Who we are couldn't create something wonderful. And I had to really sit with that for a long time. But now I also know that where we are in our world, I couldn't do that anymore, which is why I did my workshop. But And I did the workshop because I wanted to give everyone a little more information of what is occurring in the world. We're moving through what I call also a spiritual evolution. And when I say spiritual, again, I mean that people start to understand their importance. They start to understand the importance of others. When you move to that fifth dimensional understanding, you stop judging yourself, you start loving yourself, and then you pass that on to others because that's the road to going to oneness, which is that fifth dimensional thinking. But we can only do that when we become willing to do the work. And when you see the... Um, workshop that I did, um, there's a photo in there that I wanted everyone to see because we think that we get there right away. I spent so much time receiving this information, implementing it in, into my life, living it, and then proving the results so that I would have something to give to others. And everyone can do that because see, that's how you leave your legacy. We probably don't think about that, but you know, we're only in these bodies for a while. And we have to think, what am I going to leave behind that's going to be a value that's going to make a difference in the world? And that's the work that I'm doing. But we're moving through a time now that's going to last a little bit longer until more and more people decide that they're going to resolve the irony that exists within them. And that is remembering their true selves, remembering their connection to source, remembering that, that they have value to bring into the world. And the more people who do that, we have a very different existence. Please enjoy that workshop because I put so much into it and I want you to get the most value from it. And you will see a little offer that I did too because um, in my program, I talked about it in the, in the workshop. But, you know, my work is about uh, people becoming successful. It's about moving through all of your blockages, moving through all of your resistance and all of your doubts and all the old trauma, all the programming, everything, because that was the path that I went through and the result is you become so incredibly happy with who you are. That's my goal. I haven't done anything like this. It's increased the confidence that I had in myself. Everything is better. I mean, every every single aspect of my life. My income, the progress is just amazing. Like you can see changes from week to week. Introducing your last development program, Life Transformation for Success, the newest part of Roger Burnley's coaching series. In this three-month online program, you will learn the mindset tools you need to dissolve the shame of your past, discover the gifts within you that make you important to the world, and get the confidence to rise above anything that stands between you and the life that you want. Everything changed in my life, everything, every single thing. It's time for you to reprogram your mind for success and become self-actualized. If you're ready to transform your life too, learn more at yourlastdevelopmentprogram.com today.